Hello, and welcome to PLCCable.com. Today, we are going to be reviewing our Analog Micrologix 1100 PLC Trainer. We will be also reviewing the sample program that is included with the trainer and that we have preloaded to the trainer to test the inputs and outputs before we ship them out. You can find all of our trainers by clicking on the left side of the screen under PLC Trainer Kits and then selecting the brand that you would like to see. Okay, so first, this is the digital Micrologix Allen Bradley 1100 PLC Trainer. It has five inputs. Let me see if I can forward the video a little bit and... Um, so you can see everything it has five digital inputs and five digital outputs. All the outputs are different colored lights. This is a red light. It's uh, none of the lighting here. It'll get better later in the video. And then we have two toggle switches. Input one and input two are both toggle switches. A green push button is normally open. We also have a red push button that's normally closed and then a third toggle switch. This is the power switch to control just power to the PLC on and off. So first we're going to just kind of review the program that's in there and we'll let it run. I'll explain the video and then we'll go over the logic here on the right hand side and what we're doing with the logic and how it's actually working. So I'll hit play on the video. With the two toggle switches in this position, this one in the up position, this one in the down position, this is a, it was an old program called Simon Says. Well, there was an old game that was called Simon Says. And you would push buttons on this contraption and it would play back. And what you had to do is remember the lights that played back and then you would push the same buttons. Well, this is just the opposite of that. What we're doing with this program is we're pushing the buttons, the red and the the red and the green push button, and we're recording the sequence. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip the toggle switches and hit play, and then that's going to actually play the sequence back exactly how what we did it. It's going to play it back exactly the same way on the outputs. So first, what we're doing. We're just pushing the buttons randomly. We're going to give it. And there was three each, five to this one. And then we're going to swap the two toggle switches, hit the play button, and it's going to play back the exact same sequence that we played. So the first part of the program is going to be recording the two inputs, what we're doing with the two inputs. The second part of the program is playing back the same exact sequence, playing them back on the outputs. All right, so first let's uh, explain the structure and how we have this program structured out. The, you have the main program, which is this one here recording which this is the recording the playback which this is the playback and then the clear because you want to clear it all to start over in a fresh new program so first on the these are all subroutines and what you need to do is you need to to call a certain subroutine ladder two, your main subroutine is always scanned. None of the other ones are, are scanned by the PLC until it's called for. So this is your first one with the toggle switch in this position. So toggle switch zero, input zero in the down position. That's in the up position, that's in the down position. And toggle switch two in the up position, that's it's normally closed, so that's in the so they're just the opposite of each other. So zero being down, one being up, then we're gonna jump to subroutine 
3. And this is to enable the recording mode. So that means if this is true, then our ladder 3 or subroutine 3 is, is active and it's being read by the PLC. So if we push this push button, and then this is a one shot, so you have so you don't get multiple pushes on it. It does this first in um, load, first in, first out load. Now, because this is just the introduction to the PLC, and this is not a lesson, the lesson is actually covered, and they are included with the PLC. So we're just going to kind of go briefly go through it and so you can see what you can learn from the lessons and what you can learn from the actual um, trainer so this is the recording one and we're going to be recording this and we're going to be storing it all in integer n710 and like I said, in the lessons, this will actually be covered, and it'll it'll tell you everything that's how step by step on on what it's doing and how it's doing it. So, but if we pull up N710, that's the word. Let's go to binary, and so we're going to change the view to binary and from decimal. And what that is going to do is it's going to load up this word and then it's gonna by shifting the word around and, and moving the bits it's it'll store it in there because it has a length of 20 then we can do a playback and that's what this logic covers is it actually takes it and does just the opposite one loads it into there the other one unloads it so this is the unload the recording was the load and now we're unloading it so we're taking it from there and then what we end up doing is putting it into our output word and playing it back in our output word so again the I'm not doing a lesson right now. I'm just reviewing. This is one of our lessons, and this is what you'll learn. I'm just reviewing what we've actually covered and some of the features of the PLC and of the trainer and what you'll receive, and so that way you get a better idea of how it's going to actually work and what you're going to actually be doing. Can have this is an Ethernet model PLC, so you can have it either go with a USB port, you can be programming off a USB port, or you can have them network together and have multiple PLCs communicating to each other via the Ethernet. And the, you set up the Ethernet IP address through the channel configuration here in RS Logics. Um, you have to be offline to do it. That's right here. And right now we have a static IP set up. And then in RS Links, this is a virtual machine that we have running here. And in RS Links, this is our PLC that we're, we're communicating to in, in RS Links. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you, and have a great day.